What's going on guys? This is Lawrence from Holland Tech. I hope you are doing well, staying safe and staying creative at the same time. Today we're going to take a look at a pretty cool Pro Wireless Audio and Video System Syscom 421 for a maximized multi-cam experience. It is an 1800 feet wireless audio and video transmission system with one receiver and up to four transmitters. Here, this is a transmitter and I got here this one is a receiver so we got a four uh, transmitters with one receiver. Hey Lawrence, what's new in the system and what can we use it for? Well, now let's take a quick look at the key features and applications of this system. Some we wonder now, why do we need a massive system like the Syscom 421? As you can see here, both the receiver and the transmitter look robust and huge. It's similar to our Zero Latency Cosmo series systems, but nothing like the Prosumer Mars series systems. Here is the connect map for the system. For each system, we can connect up to four video sources with four transmitters, like the one that I'm holding right now, and transmit all signals to a single receiver, like the one that we've got here. The whole system supports four transmitters, synchronized audio and video transmission, up to 1800 transmission range, and 0.07 latency. It supports RS-422 or RS-485 control and tally control as well as uh, RTSP streaming and you can use uh, several systems at one location. It is a perfect system for multi-cam video production scenarios such as weddings, sports events, music concerts, corporate events, etc. etc. So what is in the box? Well, now let's take a quick look at what's in the packing case. It is packed with a convenient hard case, one receiver, four transmitters in our current case. We offer one receiver and two transmitters packing option too, as well as a single transmitter option. So the four transmitters packing also comes with four magic arms, four two-pin limo to Type-C power cables, the four RS-485 or RS-422 control cables, one DC power adapter, one OTG to Type-C cable, and 25 antennas with four for each device plus five spare ones. How did I install the receiver? Well, now let's talk about the receiver installation. There are two quarter threads and three three eighths threads for the receiver installation. The main part of human body is water, so that can block the transmission signal. We usually set it at around 1.7 meters above the ground for better signal transmission, which uh, you know is a crowd's standard height. That means uh, you can go lower or uh, I mean lower or higher depending on what crowd uh, you get. For better signal transmission, we can set the antennas to a fan shape or whatever it looks like to you. And uh, you can see that it has uh, the four SDI and HDMI interfaces. Uh, we are going to use the uh, SDI for the data video switcher we've got here. The receiver supports V-mount battery as well as uh, 12 to 36 DC power supply. You can see here is a V-mount battery plate and uh, here is the uh, DC adapter uh, interface. Actually, that's what the uh, 20 volt power adapter for. And now, how do I install the transmitters? For transmitter installation, uh, the transmitters also come with SDI and HDMI interfaces as you can see here. Uh, those are all for inputs. So this one doesn't come with uh, an out uh, and loop out. We're going to use an uh, SDI cable to connect uh, the transmitter uh, with a Sony Z150. Uh, what we're going to do next, uh, we're going to set the, the antennas to a fan shape uh, for better signal transmission just like the receiver here. This is the fan shape. Uh, and uh, 
on, on transmitter, we can use L-series batteries. Here is a battery plate, a D-tap uh, cable for other batteries that come with, uh, with the box. And, uh, and uh, you can use a 7 to 36 uh, volt DC power supply. Let me see, here is the is a power supply interface. One MPF 970 battery lasts about 46 hours. Uh, that's what we're gonna use here today. Then we're gonna set the transmitter at least two meters away from the receiver before powering it on. Uh, power consumption could interfere with the transmission if uh, the transmitter and the receiver are placed uh, too close to each other. So, you know, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set, if we're gonna test it out, we're gonna set at least two meters away from each other. You cannot place them too close to each other. How do I know which channel is the right one to use? For a channel scan, Syscom 421 also comes with a channel scan feature like uh, our Mars series of systems. And here is what you need to do in order to uh, get the channel scan. Low press the middle button on uh, the receiver and then choose channel scan. Here is the result. The red cross means the channel is with interference, while the green check means the channel is clean. And how do I switch to another channel? For channel switching uh, different than our other systems, we will need to switch the up or down button on the receiver to change to another channel. All transmitters will automatically follow the channel switch. That means all transmitters don't support channel switch. How do I use tally with this system? Well, for tally, in order to use a tally feature, we will need some tally accessories. And here is what we need to do. Connect the receiver with the tally box. Connect the tally box with the data video SC650 switcher with the tally cable. And then connect each transmitter with uh, an external tally light via the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. Now we can use the switcher to control the tally lights on each transmitter to keep the whole production team on the same page. What do you mean by using RS485 and RS422 control? So the last feature we are going to talk about is the RS485 or RS422 connection for PDZ camera control. Here's what we need to do. Connect the transmitter with the PTZ camera via the RS-485 or RS-422 interface on the camera. Connect the receiver with the controller or keyboard via its uh, RS-485 or RS-422 interface. Enter the menu on both transmitter and receiver and set the serial port setting and baud rate setting under system settings. The serial port setting to RS-485 and the baud rate setting to uh, 9600 in our case. And now we can use the controller to control the PDZ camera connected to the transmitter. All right, that's all for today. Thank you all for tuning in, guys. Do let us know if you have any other questions about this new Syscom 421 system. You may reach out to us via our website here or any major social media platforms listed out here. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.